Welcome back to the Texas music scene, friends. You know, the Summer in the Park concert series here in San Marcos is a volunteer-driven, grassroots production. Every Thursday evening during the summer months since 1987, San Marcos, Texas residents and visitors have enjoyed a family-friendly concert in the San Marcos Plaza Park. Check it out. Well, this is a uh, free to the public uh, music series that we've been putting on through the uh, San Marcos Performing Arts Association since 1987. I became the director during the 25th year of this series, and that it's a community event. Uh, all of the staff here are volunteers. It's, a, it's sort of a labor of love here because uh, we all think it's really important for the community. It's a, it's a summertime event for the family. This is actually the, kind of the heart of the uh, of the entertainment area of San Marcos. You got the square that's, you know, two blocks away from here. You got the university that's two blocks that direction. You got the river that's 50 yards that way. And uh, it's just really a cool layout. When that sun gets down, it's gonna be beautiful because we get a breeze that comes off that river. And it's, it's just a spectacular place to be on a summer night. do a music series with uh, eclectic sounds, uh, but also bands that I like. Brave Combo opened it up for us last Thursday, and I've got Jeff Blankenhorn tonight, and I've got David Beck, who is a hometown kid. You know, he's, he's lived here his whole life. He uh, partnered up with some, some great Tejano players, and they merged country and Tejano, and it's beautiful. That's a big one. Growing up in San Marcos, I assumed that every single town in Texas had a big summer concert series and uh, next to a crystal clear flowing river. Uh, but that's not the case, actually. So when you grow up and you, you realize it's a very special thing. Oh, it's the kind of gig that everybody wants to get, man. I mean, you have this built-in crowd of music listeners and music lovers that like come ready to hear you and ready to figure out what you're all about. It's like you're just being handed this beautiful audience on a platter every year. And a lot of them become fans for life. Like, I can't tell you how many people have said to me over the years, oh yeah, well we first saw you at Summer in the Park back in 18 or whatever. Plus everybody's pro, from the volunteers to the crew, you know, the sound, everything. It's just, it's just kind of gig you want. Playing in a wholesome environment is always refills the soul, I think, you know? Opportunities to dance and have a good time. Some uh, dad jokes in between the songs. I've got a couple going. And then we have audibles, like if people are really feeling it, we'll just keep, you know, we'll do a song that's up-tempo and gonna keep people on the dance floor and stuff. Family friendly is a, is a recharge for sure. I have a focus on original music. I, I, wanna, I wanna have people performing their own stuff, like Marsha Ball, Two Tons of Steel, Del Castile. They're just one of the most dynamic Latino bands you're ever gonna hear. Adele Watson, Shelly King, Sue Foley. She played last year and it rained. We had uh, about 700 people stuck around in the rain and it was like our own little Woodstock out here. It was a blast. It doesn't really matter what genre. If you come out here to a show on a Thursday night, and hear something that you wouldn't normally choose, they're gonna be really good at what they do. I'm really pleased about that because we, uh, we have put some bands in front of these people and they come up to me after, after it's over with going, holy moly, where did you find them? You know, and it's like, yeah, that makes me happy. Yeah. 